Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another beautiful video. Today I would like to talk about two things that unlike music and fashion come in and out of hands with each other. That would be body art and fashion or more specifically tattoos with fashion. Of course it hadn't always been that tattoos were known as a thing within fashion and vice versa. Nowadays you can see many models having tattoos and that being sort of almost an appeal for them over other models that might not have these interesting face tattoos or beautiful body art decorations all over. Of course some brands just prefer to have the basic very stereotypical model and of course there's nothing wrong with either way to go. Now, of course, as I was saying, tattoos and fashion didn't always link with each other. It wasn't really until the 80s, early 80s, when Izumiyaki released their first tattoo dress. And of course, this shook the fashion world in Japan, as in that time, tattoos weren't as readily available. And of course, the inspiration behind this were the GIs after World War II would get tattoos and later influence the Japanese to have these full body, beautiful tattoos that of course are a very distinct taste, but they add a lot to one's characteristic. And you can even see this today with very traditional Japanese tattoos of full body art tattoos. Personally, that's not my style. I prefer very minimalistic and simplistic yet meaningful tattoo. So of course I would never get anything that wasn't deeply rooted within me, but also I wouldn't get anything crazy all over myself. Now of course after Izumiyaki, two brands that took huge appeal to this were Mesa Margiela and Jean-Paul Gaultier. Of course, Jean-Paul Gaultier did an amazing job with this, releasing his tattoo sleeves that were so intriguing and detailed and they created such a beautiful facade over your body that it's now still to this day a must-have item. Of course, the popularity of items like that have resurged in the past year because of brands like Vermont who have created these almost Russian tattoo sleeves and this made the craze boil up again with people like Trippy Red wearing it and many others. Then of course it slowly leaked into mainstream fashion until finally you find it at places like Urban Outfitters. <laughs> so that's kind of a cycle that you will see that will repeat a lot within fashion. That's just of course extremely simplified but it's what happens. Of course, there is this thing where within fashion there's this link where usually the item itself, in this case the tattoo or body art, will influence fashion, of course. But now we are starting to see some cases where fashion influences the body art and tattoos. We can see this with influencers such as Ian Connor, who has got the entire Raph Simmons corrupted button-up shirt tattooed on his chest. Of course this is, I don't even know if it's ironic or not because of course the 2004 collection was named Consumed and it was a lot about not whether consumption of items were good or bad because that is for other people to talk about, not fashionistas but more on the lines of what is it, how can you represent it through brands and logos, how does this look on shirts, and how can we kind of twist this around. Of course, Raph, as always, did an amazing job because this was before he was very well known, so he was really heavily inspired by youth. And I myself would not be surprised if Raph actually took it off of someone who had the tattoo at first, then made it into the shirt, and then Ian Connor goes and does this. Uh, it would be pretty interesting if that was the case. Finally, I would just like to talk about a tattoo that I've gotten. 
here, as you can see on my chest, I got this about two days ago. And as I was saying, it's a very minimalistic, yet a very meaningful item to me. This is my second tattoo. My first one here says Deyama, which means escaping the mountains. And this is huge for me because of, it was a place I went to a while ago that changed my life forever, but in a positive way overall. Now, this tattoo itself is a positive message for me. It is a sort of connection. Of course, a lot of people will think about having these tattoos that are absolutely perfect, yet me being attracted to disgusting clothing links me back to this and just how it's offset a bit with the lines of the eye being all funky and just almost random to it really pleases me. I love this tattoo and I just wanted to talk a bit about the history of tattoos and show you guys mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always have an amazing day.